Let us now see what would be the regression loss for the case of rotated object detection. Consider this black box to be an anchor box defined by its parameters xay as the center parameters, wha as the width and height parameter and theta as the angle parameter. Consider the red box to be a predicted bounding box and the green one to be a ground truth bounding box. We now first need to compute these five parameters for both the predicted and the ground truth bounding boxes. That is TXP would be XP minus XA. That is the difference between the X center point coordinate of the predicted bounding box and the anchor. And that is divided by WA to make it scale invariant. A similar computation would be done for TYP. For the width and height, we take the log of the ratio between the predicted width and the width of the anchor and the similar thing is done by uh, in the case of the height and for theta we take the difference between that of the predicted and the anchor. So these parameters would again be computed for the ground truth bounding box and now we are in a shape to compute the regularization loss which would be an LN norm for all these five parameters. So delta Tx here would correspond to the LN norm considering Txp and Txt as the parameters. And this LN norm could be an L1, L2 or the smooth L1 loss that we have already seen before. So these would be computed for all uh, the five parameters and then they would be added together to make up the final regularization loss.